So last time we talked about how to start reading a monthly comic, and today we're going to talk about the second part of that equation, how to keep reading a monthly comic. So you've started reading a comic book regularly and you've hit the end of your first story arc. What do you do now? Well, if the creative team stays the same and you like what they've done so far, keep going. By all means, keep going. Chances are, if you thought they did a good job, you're going to like what they do next. Now there is always a possibility they could decline in quality, but it's never really all that severe. Now if the creative team winds up changing, and this does happen from time to time, you need to ask yourself a few questions before you continue. Have you heard of this team before? Are you familiar with their work? Are you interested in the direction they're taking this series? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then maybe give the first issue a shot, and if you liked what was in the first issue, try the first story arc of their run. If you answer no, then drop the book. You'll essentially be starting your hunt for a monthly book to read from the beginning. Once you've been reading for a while, this becomes a lot faster and easier to do. But at the start, it's going to take a lot of time. See my video on reading based on creator rather than reading based on character for more information on this. It may seem like a lot in the beginning, but trust me, it's worth it. Okay, so either the creative team is staying and you keep reading, or you like the direction the new team is taking the book in. Either way, you've picked a monthly book that you are reading on the regular. Where do you go from there? Well, here's where monthly comic books are a lot like Pringles. Once you pop, the fun really doesn't stop. You'll find yourself using this method to get into other books you may be interested in, but don't go crazy picking characters left and right. Instead, build with what you started from. If you started with, let's say, Batman, and there was a cameo from Superman in the book, you may want to check out what's going on in Superman's monthly comic. Or see what work the writer of that comic is working on. Chances are, if he's doing another book, it's going to be with the same publisher, so everything will be in the same universe, and the transition will be much easier. Pretty soon you'll have a decent sized stack of monthly comic books you're reading regularly. From there, you can go back and check out stuff you made a mess, like old trade paperbacks, past story arcs, things like that. Now, you may be asking yourself, where do I stop? What's a good number of comics to read every month? Well, honestly, that all depends on how much time you have and how much money you're willing to spend. I know people who put away $100 a month and use that and that alone to buy their comics with. That's about 25 to 30 comics a month, and I don't know about you, but I don't have the time or the money to do something like that. Me, personally, I'm reading about five books regularly every month, and I'm actually trying to make it go smaller than that. But that's just me. You could be different. Know your limits and don't bankrupt yourself. Don't think of it as collecting something. Think of it as obtaining a piece of content that you're trying to entertain yourself with. But I think the most important piece of advice I can give is just have fun. Don't take this stuff too seriously. You'll enjoy it that much more. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like having dark and super serious books like Daredevil or The Punisher or Batman and things like that. But remember, this is a medium that gave birth to a dancing, talking baby tree. So, you know, lighten up here. And that's pretty much it for how to read a monthly comic book. If you have any more questions, let me know either down below or anywhere on social media. I'll try answering them as best I can. Also, I don't know if you saw Bob's video on Monday, but we now have a tea Public store, so check that out and be on the lookout for some original t-shirts. As always, like if you like, subscribe if you really like, share this video with your friends. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. So, you want to start reading comic books. Great! I did a video on that a while back, so go check that out. I think it's pretty comprehensive. Wait, you want to start reading a regular monthly book? All right, but go get a pen and a piece of paper, because it's not going to be as easy as you think. How the hell does Luke get his lightsaber back? Yeah, that's something that's been like... Oh, well, that's Anakin's lightsaber that was passed through. Right, but that's been a rumor that's been like surrounding this movie since it like started. 